The wildfire smoke did not stop people from enjoying music outside. Last evening's Willie Nelson concert drew thousands of fans to Waterworks Park. An indie rock band Young the Giant did the same tonight. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. And I'm Andy Fails. Thanks for joining us tonight. Taj Simmons took a trip down to the amphitheater and he explains why the music might not be the most memorable part of last night's concert, Taj. That's right, Janae and Andy. The Lauritzen Amphitheater has potential. We see people having fun behind me, but no venue is flawless. The people who saw Willie Nelson play Stardust last night also saw a lot of car dust because of standstill traffic. The traffic jam before the Willie Nelson concert stretched all the way up Florida Drive past Ingersoll. An officer who tried to control the traffic that night simply described it to me as, quote, a big mess. Willie's on the road again, but Lauritzen Amphitheater hosted another concert this evening. Young the Giant headlined the show with fellow indie rockers Talk and Milky Chance as opening acts. The venue became a popular place for the second night in a row, and some people said the amphitheater is an important addition to Iowa's music scene. That's kind of the one thing Des Moines was lacking. I mean, we have a lot of space for it, so there's always temporary stuff, but as soon as you put a permanent facility like this in, you can get a lot more bigger names. The outdoor playground's super cool. That's we, we've, we've checked that out before, and then, I mean, it's a prime, prime location, right? Right in the heart of Des Moines, right off of Fleur. Yeah, about Fleur Drive uh, froze once again tonight. The traffic slowed to a standstill around showtime, but it eventually cleared up as fans found their place, their place in the crowd. However, the traffic is starting to develop a reputation, and some fans changed their plans once they heard what happened at the Willie Nelson concert. Well, we heard about the fiasco last night with Willie Nelson, so we took the back way through Waterworks. But yeah, I mean, we, we parked 10 minutes away, we did a little walk, and here we are. It was good to be aware of, and so we just planned around it, just in case, worst case scenario. Um, but no, we're good. The Lord's and Amphitheater, if you remember, is still pretty new. It opened back in 2019 and is really finding its groove as a music venue. The Amphitheater has a full slate of shows this month. Country rock singer Cole Wetzel plays there on Friday. Reggae rock band Dirty Heads takes the stage on Monday. And Midwest arena rock legend Styx will perform there on July 14th. So a lot of cars coming through those gates, but the question is how they're going to go out of those uh, gates. Parking is a little quirky there. You, you kind of need to plan ahead and, and yeah. not show up at the last minute, which is, I suspect, one of the problems we had last night for the Willie Nelson concert. It's not like yeah. parking down at Wells Fargo Arena. Yeah. yeah, and people learned that the hard way tonight. They, they did. All right, thank you, Taj.